Ooh, that could only mean one thing. We're live at McLeod's. It's Loaded Dice Podcast. Not the Loaded Dice. It's just Loaded Dice. And uh, Mel has created an Instagram page. Loaded Dice Rollers. Instagram. Love you, Mel. Thank you. Uh, she's going to tell you about email and all that stuff on other podcasts. But this podcast, we're talking about McLeod Ale. Thank you, Emerald Knights. Thank you to Paizo. It's fun having everybody on board. Uh, of course, we're always looking for an extra patron. Uh, we do this live at McLeod Ale in Van Nuys, California. And it's super fun. And I should mention our music sponsor is Leaving Richmond. If you haven't looked him up on Spotify, you want to get in there. Because this guy... I mean, we're playing music by him all the time but really if you're doing like if you're like me and you like to meditate out at work like you're doing a graphic or you're writing up a paper and you really just kind of want to mellow out and listen to something really cool check it out man leave in richmond the guy's great and of course if you're a music supervisor call him right away <laughs> that's my plug leaving richmond uh and it's not virginia we found out earlier god someplace else it's uh, in queens new york i believe wow. or richmond heights i think that's know. will talking yeah it's uh i'm gonna turn will off but this we're gonna continue on because this is tom's this is tom's this is tom's yes his character story <laughs> character story so uh Here, let me give you some cool music yeah i would love let that. Me, let me from leaving richmond i think this is our theme music outside of what queens new york theme okay. Yeah, it's leaving Richmond outside of Queens, New York. There we go. And so, Tom, you're you have a really special guy. And yeah, when I, when I say that, I wouldn't want to be this guy. Yep. Yeah, thank you. I mean, he's not quite <laughs> short. The short bus, if I can say that, I probably can't. But I did. Um, it's <laughs> he's a uh, he's unique. He let's, a, let's, he, let's let's put it that he, way. He has let's a uh, that way. Uh, everybody calls him a name. There's a name. Uh, yes. That they uh, call him. His nickname is The Bitten. What, and why, why would somebody be, like, people heckle him. They say, oh, he, The Bitten is here, right? You, you come into a, a, a tavern or hotel and... Well, it's kind of, it's... You're famous for this almost. It, it's sort of. I mean, now around, you know, Galorian, he's really kind of big known as story at least. So, uh, mm. and it really started, I mean, he's a... He's an outcast. He's a character that you don't really run into uh, in, in regards to being unique because he's a wizard. Wow. And he's a dwarf. Wait a minute. He's so a wizard you, dwarf, right? You, I mean... You may be a first in this game to ever connect a wizard with a dwarf. I, I know. I mean, I've never heard of a, a dwarf that's a wizard. That's crazy. Dwarf, the wizard. wizard. <laughs> the, the, the wizard. I mean, yeah. we could... <laughs> we could there, there you Captain go. Captain Dwizard. We could do a Ben and Jerry's called the Dwizard. So Ben and Jerry's, we would love you as a sponsor. And we would love you to make flavors from Dwizzard. all of our characters. So the first flavor you can make for us, Ben and Jerry's, wow. is Dwizard. The Dwizard. The Dwizard. And it would be amazing. And uh, and we would thank you and, and love you for that. But yeah, I mean, he's... he's a wiz a Wizorf. A, a Wizorf. <laughs> that could be like a, a spinoff, too. Um yeah, he grew up uh, originally from the Dwarven Five Kingdoms region. Oh, the Five Kingdoms. Those, uh -huh. These are now for those of you that don't know Pathfinder. One and two have sort of connected some dots, and uh, the uh, Five Kingdoms are where the dwarves uh, reach for the sky, and they sort of had this domain, very strong domain, and they they lived there for centuries, and it's sort of their yeah. their base. And for some of you, you may be more familiar with something like Lord of the Rings, where there's a dwarf. And the rest of them have died. In this world, dwarves are plentiful. Yeah, hundreds would, of thousands. Yeah, of their 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 race is thriving. Uh, as soon as they made it to the surface, they wanted to go back down. A, a dwarf's, uh, you know, ultimate uh, creed, like before you die as a dwarf, normally you want to carve your name into the deepest ca deepest cavern you can. Yes. But you, you Tom, your your character. Well, my character's a little different. I mean, I I was born the youngest of five. The bitten. The Bitten, exactly. Uh, but I didn't, I, w I wasn't always known as the Bitten. And that's, that's the thing. I mean, it, it's a really, I had a, I had to kind of get there. And uh, Break it's, it a, down. it's a little tragic. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, born the youngest of five. Uh, all my brothers were, you know, they were bigger than me. They were thicker than me and stronger. And, and they all, you know, like all dwarves, 
they wanted to go and uh, to the depths, you know, the the greatest depths that they could, and and, they, and mine and find spread, you know, precious stones. Um, for me, I was born, you know, weaker and and you know, skinnier. And, well, what's your and, strength? What's your strength? Well, I, I actually am pretty strong, which is funny because I have a 15 strength, but my constitution was really low. So what's I, that? What's your con? It was without the modifiers, it was 10 originally. So you got 12. So it's now, no, it's 11 now. So it's Dude, still average in this game. Nine. Yeah. You're, you're not yeah. weak. Yeah, but you, you know, for he, he's still, a, he's dwarven ancestry. But you saw, so. you, you saw yourself as a weak dwarf. I saw myself in your as, mind. Yeah. You were the weak brother. I, I, was. I uh, was. Will Will has something to say here. Um, I Looking over the Pathfinder 2 E-Rules, I want to say the boosts that you get actually will add two to your score, not one. So I might have been nine. Actually, I was so nine. Might, I rolled oh, okay, a nine gotcha. for a constitution. Uh -huh. okay, so okay. With Thank two. you, Will. Yeah, Will's, no Will's another player yeah. in this game. We love Will. We do love Will. Um, so, yeah, I, I, ne I felt insecure, and, and, I, um, and I didn't feel like I necessarily belonged. So... While my clan and my family were known, um, I wouldn't say famous, but they were well known in that region for finding some amazing precious stones wow. and made a name for themselves. Um, when they went into you know, the mines uh, with the rest of the dwarves, I would really kind of sneak away and, and you know, run along the mountain uh, where I really picked up a skill, which is you know, pretty interesting, um, known as rock running. Because I wanted to make myself agile, and, and it was fun to be free, and it was fun to be away. And, and for whatever reason, I didn't long to be underground. Why are you which running I guess on maybe, the rocks? Why, I, what are you running from? I, exactly. I was running from... Your family? I think, well, I think what I was born to be, which to me, it's not what I wanted to be at all. Oh. I mean, I wanted to find precious stones, but I wanted to find precious stones for another reason. I wanted to find precious stones to, to learn magic. I've got your precious stones right here. Oh, that's well, Jonathan. There's another player. Those are two very precious Walrus. stones. Walrus. And I will hold them close to my heart. But yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> if you rub them together in the right way, well, that's a whole other story. But yeah, I wanted to learn, you know, I, I really oh, wanted. No. They ignite with energy. They, oh, they, God. <laughs> they do, and, and they explode with energy, too. But again, another story for another time. Oh, um, God. <laughs> look, I wanted, I was interesting, I was interested in reading. I, and that dwarves are not interested normally in breeding. Um, and I wanted to kind of, you know, learn. <laughs> There's a weird. I don't know. They're both gesturing to me like, I just like they're yeah. waiting for me to say something. And I was like, oh no, I was just, you know. Yeah, oh, we're, we're entranced. That's, that's we're we're very enthralled. We're in, the we're story in, is gripping. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's gripping. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm sorry, that was just like I didn't realize you guys were waiting on me. I was like, I, I got nothing. There we go. Tom. So, uh, all right, back so to let, you. Let, let me. Back I'm gonna to go into. Um, let me go into my name and let me go into my my story a little bit. Uh oh, uh, you hear that? Got a little dark. It did. Leaving Richmond. No, this is just sound effects. Oh, really? Well, it should be leaving Richmond because as, as you're running across the rocks. My name is Thurman. Thurman Tydron. Uh -oh. They call me the Bitten. But I wasn't always called the Bitten. Originally from the Five Kingdoms region, I was part of the Tydron clan. Young as a fifth, and born to Branis and Lilith Tydron. Some say we were famous in the region. But... I just think we were good at finding things, particular things, precious stones. I've never been interested in caving or carving my names into the depths of Glorian. That's for other dwarves. I was different than other dwarves, and my interest was in the arcane, in learning, in the mystic arts. Many families in the region, there was a prejudice against this. So I kept this secret, this urge, this passion. I kept it secret. I was scared, but yet enthralled and curious. There was a dwarf thousands of years ago that was one of very few like me. 
that loved and sought out the mystic arts and for that magic killed thousands tens of thousands so wait, wait a minute this <clears throat> so what you're saying is that there was a dwarf a long time ago yes in in the five kingdoms that was in a mine shaft or something and was performing magic to probably help the the mining and something went wrong and killed a lot of people. Is that what you're... Or dwarves. That is what I'm saying. Uh, wow. A dwarf named Negreg. Uh-oh. He's a practitioner of the Arcana arts. He collapsed the mines, sealing himself and, and many oh, thousands in a tomb. I had, I had a Negreg once. Necric. I got some antibiotics and cleared it right up. <laughs> when I meet you, walrus... <laughs> I will grab your two precious stones <laughs> and ignite them. That's and I will help you with your nectaric. Again, we're live at McLeod's. This is Loaded <laughs> Dice. We are sponsored by <laughs> McLeod Ale and Van Nuys. Paizo. Oh, Will. Are we sponsored by Will? That's handsome. That's a good headshot. That is a really hey, good headshot. Post that, that on Loaded, loaded really Dice good Rollers. That's a great My headshot. dice are loaded now. I have to look at this headshot of Will. Post it. God. Will. Can you? Yeah. Sorry, everybody <laughs> I've listening. Got a, I've got, got a serious neck rig going on. Can, Will, we need to post that headshot. You're an that. actor and voiceover actor, and you need to put that on the Loaded Dice. Is it the Loaded Dice Instagram or just Loaded Dice? Le Le so the tag is Loaded Dice Rollers. Loaded Dice and Rollers. The podcast is like it doesn't that. matter how you find Will Cavett. Uh, casting directors, he's a handsome man. Okay, yeah, so that he picture is, that, he's really handsome. He is. That he's picture they just brought up good just looking. like go off the rails entirely for a brief moment. That that picture was like from an old modeling picture that I took like pre moving out to LA. So this was like four or five years ago when we took that. Oh oh he's a model too. Okay. No, I'm, so, I'm, I'm yeah. so sorry. Versatile he's an underwear model. Can we say Victoria's triple secret? Can model. we say triple threat? <laughs> triple threat. Role player, okay. actor, and model. You're a model for radio? For your, uh, a radio, I'm, wait, wait, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a radio model, and that's the, that's, that's the most difficult of models. A radio model, the most difficult. And let me tell you guys and gals, he's pulling it off. Okay, he's pulling it off. Uh, uh, but we digress. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Back to the story we've, of the neck we've, rig. we've been interrupted. Maybe there's a way to, to like poor Tom. Uh, you know poor what, Tom? Chris in Portland is the only guy listening to all these. Like he's told me, he just he can't stop listening. I don't this. Uh, I don't. I, I disagree. I guarantee Chris. you, there's a lot of people here, and I guarantee you, there's a bunch of people saying, "Get the other idiots oh. off." I want to hear the rest of this awesome backstory yeah, of the right dwarven here. wizard. Thank you. No, because wait. there isn't another podcast out there with a dwarven wizard, and You're it's right. a super awesome character. You're right. And we should shut the hell up. Absolutely. Well, let me just say this too. Chris is not the only one listening. Steve Wynn. <laughs> From the Wynn Casinos? Steve Wynn. He loves us. Will not leave me alone. <laughs> and I'm just, I, I know he, I, he's obsessed with this game. Well, winner, winner, chicken dinner then. <laughs> And, and Sounds I just, like an I, obvious sponsor I, right there. <laughs> yeah, Steve, if you're listening, stop harassing me. <laughs> Thank you. Paizo, Emerald Knights, McClouds, uh, and Leaving Richmond. Leaving Richmond. Uh, we love you. And the Wynn Hotels. But Wynn Hotels, the please. The Wynn Hotels no. are please. amazing. No. Please no, sponsor us. No, he, that's the thing. He just, he like stalks me on email. And so he's he, got to earn it. He's got to earn it a little bit. He's got to just come and play. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, Steve, come down. We'll roll you in yeah. and uh, be now part. Loaded you know? dice. <laughs> yeah, loaded dice. Be, be <laughs> part of this be special a gnome, thing. Gnome rogue. There you go. A halfling rogue. I like that. Yeah. All right, and, and now back to our awesome backstory. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So sorry. Tyrell. <laughs> I, uh, so I love drinking. Yeah, well, you're at McLeod Ale. <laughs> Live. I love drinking McLeod Ale. And uh, that's how I... That's how I bonded with, uh, with my brothers, and uh, that's how I felt normal. Okay, but, but something that you, you had your chance to get away, right? Well, I had my chance to get away because I was forced to get away, and that's because through the drinking and through bonding, I used to get into fights. Oh. Uh, you know, fighting was a way to prove that I was truly a dwarf and... My, my dwarven brothers. So you would lash out in anger? Well, I'd get drunk and not maybe lash out in anger, but 
challenged the biggest dwarf to prove that I was a dwarf and <laughs> so they're saying no you're a hobbit <laughs> no they just were saying I was a weak ass dwarf and oh. uh, you know for that that's a W-A-D I, uh, uh, okay. A weak ass dwarf. <laughs> w A D. Yes, like there is something. W M D. W M D. W A D. Sorry. Yes. W A D. Please continue. Huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I got my ass kicked a uh, lot, uh, which, you know, for that, as a dwarf went into the mines, I'd, I'd run around the mountains and find crevices and practice, practice magic and read books and do things that no one else in my clan was doing. But one night. One night, I got a little too drunk. Hey, Thurman. Thurman. We can talk about the time you found a cricket and you, you've crushed it up for components <laughs> in a spell. That, that was a good time. I but, remember that. But, I remember that. <laughs> but I think what we should do is just kind of tell uh, maybe... Well, this is important. This oh, is, is an important okay, part of the story. Okay. Because I got a little too drunk that night. Oh. I challenged someone I probably shouldn't have challenged. Uh, and as I was getting my ass kicked, I accidentally used my magic, and my magic, my magic showed the clan, showed everyone who I really was. And through that, I was outcast. I was, my family turned their backs on me, my brothers, my my elders, everybody, because I was. Arcane. I was evil. I was something what? that arcane? didn't belong. Were you, were you arcane in the membrane? <laughs> I, was, I was. Well, well, it, that's another first story of all, too. Being, being arcane isn't evil, even a dwarf. It's just kind of an extra special power well, potentially. Sure, but right? it's a dirty word back there. In, oh, in, is it in, in the Five Kingdoms? Well, in dwarven clans, sure. They're they're look. If if you're not divine, they're superstitious. Oh, and for wow. that. Yeah. For that, they you're look not, you look, me you're as not a mine if you're not divine. That's the way it works with your You're dwarves. not mine. If you're not divine. Mine in two two meanings. Ooh, wow. I'm I'm You're deeper than you thought. I'm deeper than I even th- I'm deeper <laughs> with the <laughs> mines. Too deep. Wow, this we yeah. we, we, we <laughs> just still too, too, too deep. So deep. <laughs> just so deep. So, so deep. So That's, I was shunned. I was shunned. And, <laughs> so and, long story uh, short, I was shunned. I was shunned. I was outcast. I was thrown out like the garbage, and <laughs> with that, as I as I was literally forced out of the village, I stole two objects that were close to my grandfather. Wait a minute. Wait, close proximity, or like an adjacent to him? Fell in your or? pocket? No, no, they were just close to him in regards to weapons and and items that he has had from his grandfather and his father and. On and on, and so, uh, so are you? Uh, you're not a very trustworthy person. Is that what you're saying? I, I think he gets a break. I'm I mean, super chasing, trustworthy. Yeah, they were chasing him out of his home. Can, but I, I do it just to set the scene. You were like, "Fuck it, you guys! I'm taking these and bailing. I'll show you." Okay, wait a minute. Whoa, they whoa, did whoa, not whoa. know I was taking him, and whoa. I felt the only way that wait, I wait, could wait. keep an semblance of who I am and where I was from was to have these items with me. Basically, I'm, I'm taking granddad no, shit wait. with me. Because no, I did not want to lose my identity, even though I was forced to lose my identity. G- GM McLeod's is going to throw a roll in character pre-story. Whoa! We're going to do a roll. Uh, can you please throw a d20 and tell me what the results are? Okay, I'm rolling a d20, Spencer. Here we go. This is pretty... Okay, Spencer, thanks it's for... Uh, it's an 18. Ooh. That sounds good. No, no. That's not good. Oh, <laughs> no, no. Sounds bad. As he shakes his head. What is, sounds what's, bad. What's your alignment, Tom? I am neutral good. Now you are just neutral. <gasps> You're stealing your family's shit. Wow. True neutral. And that's True how neutral. it feels. That's how it feels. You could earn it back, potentially. You know, you just ripped something away from Thurman. Yeah, I know. And through Thurman, you rip something away from me. I feel it. I, I feel the coldness go through this room. <laughs> you kinda, don't know how it feels. Look, kinda, you can't see because this is a podcast, but there are two single what? tears streaming <laughs> down Tom, Todd's, Tom's, Tom's face Tom. right now. It's, I, you know, he's just staring lasers. But, but you know why? At, you at know Spencer. why it's so impactful is because it's, it's true. You know, as kids, we do these things and we live life like those regrets are carrying through in our in our adult life right yeah and, no, and I mean, so it's, i i feel you know. for your guy completely like 100 that's what i love about it is like he was 
uh, you know, and we all get cursed with these things as kids, right? And you try and fight for the, maybe you're the dominant player, but you have weaknesses too, and that's why you're dominant. And so we grow up with these things in play all the time. And I feel like your character, you've really, he might have won the uh, Great Character Award. Yeah, I would, I would. I would second character that. award. I would oh, second yeah. that nomination. Wow. I would say That's, Tom's uh, is the most interesting character here. Most Absolutely. interesting character. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Well, yep. you haven't even heard the best of it. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry to mend your alignment. Yeah. <laughs> but besides, That's, besides destroying okay. your alignment, you know what? It, it'll give me something. To, it'll give. Uh, it'll give Thurman something to earn back. Oh no. You know. But wait. But wait. There's more. But wait. There's more. For 1995, you too could. <laughs> Be, no. be um, sponsoring the <laughs> you could sponsor the loaded dice loaded podcast. dice podcast for twenty dollars. Yes. Send it to Mel. Right, send it to Mel. Mel. We'll drink it right away. Mel is amazing. Um, we'll drink it right so away. So shunned, shunned, so shunned. I, I ran, and I and I ran, ran so far away. I ran down the mountain, <laughs> barely surviving the journey to the bottom, to find myself. Meeting a group of shadow hunters. This caravan, this mysterious caravan, and on death's door, or almost on death's door, with no food, no rations. Wow. Alone, scared, and defeated emotionally. I, I begged them to take me in, to, to help me, to nourish me, and, and in return I would, I would help them and work for them as they made it to the region that they were headed toward, which is Razmirian. Razmir. Razmir. And, and, and by the way, that area is, uh, is ruled by a, a guy who claimed to be a god. So you got to get this area. It's by the lake, by the way. It's lovely, like, oh, lakefront so, property. Sounds, sounds like lakefront yeah. property. And uh, just insane rulers. Yeah, who, a um, sorcerer who, who claims... I think he might be a wizard. God, but God complexes. God complex. But aside from that, those summers are fabulous. <laughs> if they you are. Make it there. And, and the property there is expensive. For like, I mean, you know, oh. it's just well, like, yeah. I would imagine so. Yeah, it, it's only for like three days of the year. It's perfect. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> used to love. You know. Summers in Ustalov. You know, I'd we've got be... vampires, but we've also got lovely beaches. We've got mosquitoes I mean, and all types of mosquitoes, not I, just the ones that fly, but the one. So I may rather be in Chelix. Ruled by the devils. <laughs> How many times have I said that? Wow. I'd rather be in Chelix. Well, it's awful. Well, look, he didn't have many choices, okay. right? And he was almost dead. And, yeah. and this was the first caravan he so ran he up against. And, and it was, you know, he needed to, uh, he needed companionship. He needed food. He needed nourishment. He needed. So through that, so through that. I worked many days with <laughs> with this interesting group, and uh, you guys are next. And berries. <laughs> I found that I started to to feel as if I was healing and 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 able to to get back on my feet. But one night, one particular night, uh oh, many days into Hell. many to into our journey. Oh. I I woke to flashing lights, to darkness, to coldness, to unthinkable things. Was it a rave? What, <laughs> was it a night? Were you having good dreams? And as I as I felt that I woke, I saw this small child on my neck, biting in deep to my neck and and taking and draining my life. I couldn't move, I could not yell, I could not, I could not do anything. But I remember a large figure, a shadow. Wow. From beyond coming in and pulling the child off me and with great strength, throwing him out of the caravan. I would just like to interject that pulling the child is a great band name, but please continue. It is a great, if you kill his parents, I mean, Oh, that's oh then it's a Disney film. Well, no, that can be the first album. Well, this this podcast is not brought to you by Disney. <laughs> Pulling the child, and then the first album is Fuck killing no. the parents. Um, yeah, so I mean, if you if you think of Thurman, then that's that's kind of what he got into, right? So, so then when I woke in the morning, uh -oh. 
just with the image of the the man or the the shadow and my hemorrhaging neck and the blood and the darkness I realized that I wasn't here to serve I was here as food <laughs> oh god <laughs> and these what weren't just ordinary shadow hunters these were vampires right Ulistov mm -hmm. I needed to get away and it took days until I could find that moment. But when I did, I ran and I ran and I ran and I did not stop thinking that I could finally find some freedom only to run I into. Get away. We should do a boy band. We should do a boy band too. Gotta get away. Uh, well, you're a people band. band. That's true. Mel. Come on. You know I love you. I'm here too. I love you, Mel. So you got so you so I got away. All right. So so Thurman gets away. Uh -huh. Right. I mean, wow. It, just think about all the stuff he went through from childhood to now. Almost getting killed and life forced Wait, sucked we have out one by these that vampires. That has experience with this. Uh, Will, when you were uh, abducted by vampires and you. Uh, Oh, also a good band name. Abducted by Vampires. Ab <laughs> it's already existed called Vampire did, Weekend. Did, did, yeah, yeah, fuck those guys. <laughs> abducted by Vampires. I mean... They're the yeah, new up-and-comers. Yeah. Vampires, the, you're not you when you're hungry. I'm just saying. <laughs> a hangry Vampire? Hangry Vampire. Hangry Vampire. Oh, that's hangry vampire. Like, well, that's, that's just... Tom is just a human that's snicker. A, that's a great corporation <laughs> name. Did Tom just come Hangry <laughs> Vampire, Inc.? Tom tastes delicious. He just came up with a new podcast name. hashtag. Hangry Vampire. vampire. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna hashtag that. All right, I'm gonna hashtag. I'm gonna let Tom hangry. continue. Tom, t so Tom has the patience of a of a saint. He's been for like we've been interrupted so many times well, at this point. By the way, I feel so bad. Bill? By the way, we're it sponsored. Me, we're sponsored by McLeod Ale. Yeah, by, we're, we're sponsored by uh, Pies, McLeod Paizo, Emerald, uh, Emerald Knights. Our Instagram loaded dice guys. rollers. Add us, hashtag us, loaded dice rollers, Please and our do. email is loaded dice rollers at gmail.com. If you have any questions or comments or wow. uh, want to join in Tom, mine and Tom's uh, weekly bet that we're going to be talking about later, yes, we have to and, and mu mood music out. by uh, leaving Richmond, yeah, yes, love Absolutely. those guys, and not Virginia, not Virginia, yeah, yeah. New York. There you New go. York. So, <laughs> You're so stop. now running close to the borders of Yustafa, Yustala, Yustala. Ustalov, I'm not Russian, Ustalov, thinking I was free and safe. A band of, or a covet of witches named the White Brides found me. <laughs> not the white, no, the White Brides are kind of famous, but they're good at disguise. So when you meet them, it's never quite what you think. So what happens? Well, I thought that they were just a group of friendly Women lost in the woods <laughs> that could bring this, in. Is this where the reputation for mail order Ustalov brides came from? <laughs> you're right. You're right. <laughs> you, you send it out. Kurt has uh, mail order Ustalov brides. Yeah. Just Find your out. love today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that White. could that could White bring wedding. me in. Bring yeah. me back. Give me salvation from from the evil that I just experienced. But yet they were even more evil. They were even more horrifying than the vampires. And I, I became a slave for, for weeks, for months. Wait a minute. So wait, you went from being uh, sucked on by vampires to saved by a coven of witches who then just enslaved you. Yes. Beautiful by the way, women that I thought were going to help me. And it's common. Dwarves are slaves to witches. Bring me salvation, but yet they enslaved me and... Wait. They made me clean the, the chambers, and they made me clean everything in the chambers. The the pots. Chamber I became pot? the chamber pot dwarf. Oh, God! And I was in a deep despair. Kurt hasn't deep, had to say in this deep I'm despair. Bring Kurt into this chamber yes. pots. He's he's cleaning chamber pots. Well. We all fall to where we belong. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Says the, <laughs> says the, <laughs> the half freaking orc. Ouch. We haven't met Kurt yet. We're going to meet him next. I time. know, but that's what I would tell him. All right. So days and weeks and months and I think who knows, like years went by. 20 and years. 
20 years went by. Uh, a long time went by, and I read. That was Actually, the only thing that kept me Let's roll a D100. Oh, gee. Yeah, really? Are yeah. you going to make me now yeah. roll another yeah, new I went the yeah. neutral. Yeah, that's a lot of pots. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. That's, that's, that's a, a shit pots. ton of pots. I cleaned a lot of shit <laughs> over 20 years. But. All right, here you go. Here's a 70, no, 27, right, 27, 27. 27. 27 20. years. <laughs> he was a slave to the witches for 27 years. 27 years. <laughs> I was. I love random shit. I love. No, no, I have one more. Cool. 27 years I was enslaved. And I didn't know. Uh, the only way I survived was through reading and saw, you know, to get through the solitude. And one day, after learning enough arcane magic, I, I created my salvation, Nola. Nola, my guardian angel, my raven, the one who allowed me to see outside of this compound. I, to travel. Nola's your familiar. She is my familiar, and I love her very much. What, what is she? She is a raven. Oh, a raven. I love that. And Three she, eyes or just two? No, she's she's two eyes. Okay. Uh, I have, you know, I'm a one-eyed raven, but that's a whole different story too. But she's two eyes, and she she gave me freedom when when I when I had none. And so with that. Wow. She also had the unique ability to uh, blink, to appear in the ethereal plane and, and, and then appear somewhere else. And, and I experienced things I had never thought were possible and, and saw things in a different light. And my soul was set free until the night that a marauding group of vampires attacked oh. the witches. Oh, God. Again, it was blood what? and death <laughs> Dude, and darkness. Guys, guys everywhere been, I've been. There's so much shit. Everywhere I've been, it's been blood and death. Seems like it's you've been, been through a lot. <laughs> I've been through a lot. No, I have been through a lot. <laughs> I've been through so much that our, the DM may be worse twice again. tonight. I don't I mean, need that's my crazy. DM to tell me shit anymore, <laughs> Tom. I just got to go off your back. I mean, story. holy crap. <laughs> This poor guy, Twice. this poor dwarf. I mean, right? The vampires are bad. Thank God I'm with the witches. <laughs> well, you know, we can all relate. The marauding all, vampires. We, they, we've all had that job with that we witches, came back to. Witches, am I right? To. Yes. So wait, I think. I, it, hello. Total Dave, witches. Hello. Wait. Oh. Hello. Hello. Oh. Oh my goodness. Hello. Holy hello. fuck! Shit. Is it Dave? Dave is called Dave. Dave. Oh my Dave. God. Where is our fucking trip Dave to, uh, you know, a castle? Wait, wait, wait. Dave? Dave? Oh, no. Uh, we have a caller. Ground control. We have a call. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. oh, my fucking God. It's Dave. <laughs> Dave. Is that Chip Fuckwit? <laughs> <laughs> Chip Fuckwit. Yes, so, he died. So... So start from the beginning and tell me everything. So um, how, hey, how how are all of our characters developing? Hey, We're all dead. Everyone's well, dead, Dave. Now wait, wait. <laughs> Everyone's dead. <laughs> Everyone's right. dead, Dave. This is session 0.0, 0 and wait. we're all dead. We did our character <laughs> stories. Tom rolled twice, and now he's he was originally a dwarf. Now he's a drow woman. <laughs> so he oh, just nice. he, he can't he can't he can't roll his way out of this. Yeah, I, I can't catch a break, Dave. I'm sorry. Oh, I, I love man. that Dave calls in. It's not, you know, we need to get like a unique phone to have callers. Dave, uh, what are you I, doing, I'm Dave? A, I'm going to have a one on one with Dave real quick, guys. Dave, sorry. what are you doing? There is oh. nothing wrong with being a drought, a drought, a problem, as long as you're over 40. All right, I Dave. Think that's what's important. Now, wait a minute. You're calling in uh, during Tom's character generation story. It's it's his backstory, it's, he's introducing himself to the world. <laughs> And uh, I just want to say, if you're calling in, to at least call in and be clear with your communication. Like, get the phone uh, t pointing at your face. Are you on? Are you on uh, US? Uh, what are you? What are you? What are you speaking on? Oh, I'm on an iPhone. Really? So, are you speaking in space? Are you in space? Because <laughs> it sounds like Mel's with me on this one. Are you in space? Where are you? Oh, oh, does it really? Oh no, I'm just. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm, just I'm in San Jose, so I'm just. I'm I just, I just said, oh, that's all. Well, oh. luckily, Mel, we aren't sponsored. Dave, thank God oh, you, you oh, brought this. Let me, let me, let me, I think I know what the problem is. We're, we're yeah. not sponsored by Apple. 
which is just so we can just bag on Apple. Oh, wait, we'd love Hold on. By oh, Apple. Yeah. We'd, we'd yeah, love to be sponsored by I Apple. I don't think so. We cost too much on this show. I mean, yeah. all oh, no. of us are using no. iPads. No, no, listen, Steve Wynn. <laughs> I was it, is this Steve Wynn? This isn't problem. Dave. This is Steve Wynn calling in again. Is this again? Steve? Is this you, Steve? Steve? No. No, it's not Steve. It's, it's not good Dave. Okay, because Steve Wynn keeps calling on Dave, and I have to oh, say, okay. I'm going to have to do a restraining order. I don't know. Can you do that over? No, I'm going to do a restraining order. You, can you do, Jonathan, okay, can you well, do that? I, I just to know, Spencer I would. To know, you could just stand on I the other side of the table. Other, I would say, I, know I mean, restrainingorder.com can help you out with that. Oh, <laughs> very good. Dave. You're a one-stop shop for all your restraining order needs. <laughs> <laughs> So, All right, Dave. So how many characters? How many characters are completely developed? Uh, five. Define complete. Well, oh, okay. we so, have so Tom's the last one. We have two left. Tom's in the middle you, of it right call, now, you Dave. Did, you did call. Uh, so, Dave, a little backup. Uh, yeah, Tom. Tom wait, wait. Uh, Tom has another thirty minutes to go before he's done. Yeah. And then, <laughs> then we've got his entire <laughs> <It's> backstory. <36 laughs> then minutes, we can start the backstory. We did abduct his. Uh, wow. We abducted. So, Dave, let me do a little background here. So. Uh, the the first dwarf wizard ever in Pathfinder 2E, and you can look this up at the Guinness Book of World Records. This is the very first dwarf wizard Official. in Pathfinder 2E, and you guys can back me up on this, has been created by Tom. So yeah. Tom... Wow. Yeah. And, and so Tom has been outcast by his, his minor friends, his families, uh, who said, you know what, you're not interested in drilling through Earth or Galorian, uh, so get out of here. So he basically bailed. He fell into the arms of some uh, vampires. Uh, when he went down the mountain, he was really just out of juice, and they kind of took him in, and they took more of his juice called uh, <laughs> dwarf juice. Dwarf juice. You, have you had that, Dave, dwarf juice? I have not, but I'm one of the simple like me, so I'm not sure. Sounds a little homoerotic, but we'll, we'll go it's with it. It's like yeah. ting when it goes down yeah. the throat. It, it tingles? A slight ting. Oh. Not tingles. Oh. It's tang. It's a ting. Ting. What an interesting so character. <laughs> yeah. So, Dave, uh, it's when you drink uh, dwarf no, blood, evidently, yeah. uh, it's like know. drinking tang in the, the 80s. Ting. 1980? <laughs> yeah. F Fanta. No, I'm just thinking it's like, I think, I think it's something like uh, true blood. You know how they... Drink tea. Yeah. Uh, Mel said, uh, Mel said yeah. ting specifically. Ting. Yeah, I know. Ting. For everybody, uh, I brought it to every, tang. For everybody that heard that and then was suddenly physically tang. crippled by the I tang. Right. The, the comment. Welcome. So yes. Dave, uh, and then and then he broke free well, of the vampires sense. because some covet of a coven of uh, witches called the yeah. white the white who who the white brides or something. <laughs> the, no. White. <laughs> White, no, white, white, white nah. Yes, the white bride. White brides. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. The white brides abducted him and enslaved him for 27 years. And then he found a moment to break free. He was uh, good. He was good. He was that good to he hold was, on he, to for 27 years. It's the ting, years. man. The ting. the ting. Dave, if you've ever cleaned smell. A, uh, a, a pot uh, where somebody has shat in it, Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. his, a shat pot? Shat pot. His dwarf was doing shat it the best. Shat pot. And then he escaped to only be clutched by other vampires. And, and, and that's when you called in. Is this right, Tom? Wow. So like rebound vampires. Well, I wasn't really captured again by the other vampires. Also a great band name, Rebound Vampires. But yes, the <laughs> marauding vampires. The vampires. Change it up a little bit. I mean, so, Tom... Contra you know, like let's let's. Uh, so what happened? You, you the marauding vampires basically tell they Dave. destroy the witches. They kill the witches. There's this huge battle. I'm able to make it out. Were the witches hot? With they were hot when I met them, but they were witches. Okay. You know, I mean, the, Dave, you've fallen for that before, yes? And they made me clean their they, shit they're always, pots. They're I mean, hot they're, in the yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. 27 years of cleaning yeah. shit. And as soon no, as I mean, they were in, a lot of yeah. white. No, as soon as you move in with them, it all goes out. Yeah. It all goes to shit. It's exactly. Really like there you once go. you get comfortable, yeah. it just, oh, the excitement God. just There was, dies. you know, TMI the whole time, but 27 years of it. So then I finally get out, Dave, <laughs> with the help of my familiar... Uh, oh. Lola, not Lola, Nola. I'm sorry, but la, 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 Lola. maybe I'll call her Lola. <laughs> wait, wait, what, do, what, what familiar does a dwarf have? A, a dwarf, is it well, like I'm a, a, I'm a, I'm a that, I mean, what? I don't, know, I don't get it. What, what, what would that mean? I'm a wizard, and it's a raven. 
Okay, okay, I can see that. So yeah, even I though I'm a dwarf, that. remember, okay. I'm a wizard. You know, okay. I'm, a, I'm a smart yeah, you, dwarf. Yeah, okay, do, do any of you guys, you, you guys listen to uh, animations, uh, does anybody recognize, Will, maybe you, well, actually, you're probably pretty young. Does anybody recognize this voice? Oh, who's a wizard? Oh. Anybody? Uh, Dave? Oh, oh, oh. Actually, Dave might know. The caller. Uh, oh, who's the uh, wizard? Uh, yeah. Who's the wizard? Who's the wizard? God damn it! Who oh, who's the wizard? It's, it's 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 like it's pre it's pre it's like Bruce family from guy. Family Guy. No 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 no. no, no, no. It's, it's, it's old. Family it's old. Guy. It's old. Yeah. I can't think of it. You know what? If it's, it was on uh, Family Guy, it was inspired by this film. Yes. Yeah. It is a no, rated X animation from the seventies. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, was that uh was that uh, heavy metal? Heavy metal. Yeah. Oh, that's. Dude, that is an epic no, movie. That is an excellent, epic excellent movie. But I, I believe I believe Spencer is yeah. quoting uh, Felix the Cat. It's the makers of Felix, and they ran wow. out of money. That's awesome. And they made this movie for one hundred and ten thousand dollars. Wow. And it's called Dirty Duck. <laughs> Dirty Duck. Okay, if you haven't found it, Dave's renting it tonight. I'm going to do. I, I, we I, don't I, want to know what you're going to do with the Dirty Duck. Sponsored I'm by Paizo. <laughs> Uh, McLeod Ale. Yeah. Dirty all Duck. Dave that. Plain oh, Dirty Duck, that. sponsored by Pizza. Oh, what's great about that is, yeah. you know what? Dave and is McLeod's actually yeah. going to really enjoy He's going to rent it. He's going to love the He's movie. Gonna Dude. He's going to really like it. It's an epic <laughs> journey. <laughs> It's he's epic. Like, he's gonna. He's gonna. Cool. That's up. what the kids are calling it right. nowadays. It is rated epic X. Epic journey. Rated, rated X. X. Oh, excellent. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, our, I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna definitely Dave. be there next week uh, for sure. Just to, uh, just to, uh, well, to we're watch, launching uh, live. Let's take that so, bet. Is Dave? Uh, no, actually? no. Dave's gonna be here. Here's the thing. No, no, that's next week's bet. I take it. All right. So if he shows. Yeah. Then, then I you'll get a do, do it for drinks. No, no we'll do it for drinks. Yeah, no, yeah, wait. we're gonna do it for drinks. So what no, do you want to do? Have, you want to bet that he shows or not? Yeah, I like to watch. We well, have, that's we, just well, too well, much information, <laughs> Dave. He might have named the podcast. information. He might have named the podcast. Like the live table. Now here's the thing, David. We are going live next week at McLeod Ale. And we need uh, the audience to kind of harass Jonathan specifically because he does not know what the fuck he's doing. And uh, uh, support Kurt because Kurt is going to rule this. Uh, we're Actually, we're taking bets, right? We're gambling here in Los Angeles. We're sponsored by an Indian tribe. Uh, oh Van Nuys is actually... Uh, it's, oh, my uh, God. It's, uh, it's, uh, oh, what just I'm happened there? Are we, are we playing on an Indian um, barrel? Yeah, are right we right in the now? upside down? Uh, hold yeah. on a second. Well, I didn't yeah, really really why is, yeah, why is yeah. Kurt my arch nemesis now? Yeah. What don't I know? Yeah. I'm part Cherokee. <laughs> I'm just saying like an eighth. Close eighth enough. Sixteenth. I want odds. What Indian casino know, do we want to play at? My money's on John. Hey, thanks, Dave. All Love right. you, buddy. Yeah, All right. But I, I don't understand why Kurt and I are in opposition anyway. Uh, it just has to be. Well, Spoilers. You know, like that, Start listening. It's like, that, it's like that girl you went to high school. You went to elementary school and junior high school. And then as soon as you went to high school. Listen, in defense, in defense of Kurt, That's Kurt's a lot more attractive than the girl that I went to high school with. So yeah. even with the. Yeah. And I'm not yeah. with you on that. Even with the York teeth. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? She is going to call in. It's Kurt's, Kurt's a handsome man. You can't see, but he's a handsome he's man. He's a very handsome man. Right? See, that Dave knows. <laughs> oh, and that's it for Tom's character generation. <laughs> Good time for the outro. <laughs> Dwarf Dave. wizard, ladies and gentlemen. Dude. Dwarf wizard. Dude. Bitten by vampires. Bitten by vampires. He only heard. We, how much did we get through? <laughs> the bitten, ladies and gentlemen. The bitten. Him off. The bitten. Like, we more like your story got bitten a gown, bitten eh? once Tom. again. I wouldn't Thanks, say you bitten. I would say more like devoured <laughs> by what? all the other idiots at the table. <laughs> Dave. Devoured by idiots. Dave, the you, dwarf you, wizard. That's You're a great band name. Dwarf wizard. Devoured by by idiots. <laughs> I agree with you. Man, Tom's you character creation has three great band names if you're listening and you take one. Please just credit a loaded dice uh, rollers. Loaded dice rollers. Sponsor Instagram. At, or uh, do we have a Facebook yet? Not yet. You Probably can always loaded dice rollers. Right. As well. You can always go to GM McClouds. Yes, GM with, McLeod. It's plural. Don't go to that guy without the S. I don't know who that guy is. That's awkward. And uh, and just come to Cloud Ale in Van Nuys, California, and have some beer. We're doing it live.